Hey guys, this is Chris. Welcome to another Photoshop Lightroom tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to do something really quick and easy. It's how to remove stray hairs from a face in Lightroom and Photoshop. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So here we have an image that I took a little while ago. This was from a pretty nice photo shoot. Um, and first I'm going to show you how to remove um, a couple of these stray hairs from the eye. <clears throat> so the first thing that I'm going to do obviously is here in Photoshop um, and we're going to go ahead and use um, our, uh, our healing brush. Um, you want to make sure that it's on heal and not clone because if you have it on clone it uh, it will clone from a different area it just won't look right so make sure that it's on heal um, and uh, the, the outcome will be a lot better so I'm gonna go ahead and use my bracket key my left bracket key to make that a little small I'm actually um, going a little bit closer a lot closer and um, so we see this one hair right here um, I actually have a couple of blemishes right here as well I'm gonna get rid of those uh, at the same time so actually let's just go ahead and get rid of those real quick just dot dot and those are gone um, basically the same thing with the hair uh, you just take it and just follow the hair now I wouldn't highly recommend using this in Lightroom because it's not perfect as you can see um, let's move it over just a little bit to make it more even and you can play with this a little bit this is where it gets a little tricky so I guess right about there so hit return return and that hair is gone um, and if you back out of it you can't notice um, that that uh, there was even a hair there uh, so that's how you do that in um, in Lightroom and uh, to do these it's a little trickier I wouldn't recommend doing it in Lightroom I recommend doing that one in Photoshop so um, we're going to back out to put that hair back in there and um, we're gonna go ahead and take this into Photoshop and show you a couple of different ways that this can be done in Photoshop. So edit in Photoshop CC 2017. It doesn't matter what version you have, they pretty much work the same way. I'd just like to take a minute to let you guys know that if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below if there's a video that you are interested in watching. And also, please make sure to click on the little Taco Bell uh, so you can be notified when new videos come out. Alright, so now that we're here in Photoshop, um, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, a lot of people duplicate the layer so they don't work on the original one but I'm not worried about that because this came from uh, Lightroom and uh, basically it's going to be non-destructive. Um, people who make duplicate layers usually work in Bridge and Photoshop and they don't use Lightroom so that's, um, that's why I don't do it. Alright so let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. I'm at 200% and we see the same stray hair I'm gonna do the exact same hair and there's a couple of different ways of doing this alright so the first way that you can do it is by grabbing your lasso tool okay and when you grab your lasso tool this is kind of redundant I, I wouldn't do it this way but this is one of the ways that you can do it you just go around the entire hair um, this is more for uh, older versions of Photoshop if you don't have newer ones this this would this would probably work and what you want to do is once you have that hair you um, you click you right click and you go to fill make sure it's on content aware opacity 100 mode normal uh, basically whatever it's it's already at you don't mess with none of this you can just click OK and boom command D to deselect and look at that absolutely perfect and um, so that's one way to do it so let's hit command Z 
Command Z again, and that brings it back. Command D to deselect that. Now, the other way that you can do this is you grab your uh, healing brush, spot healing brush. Or do I want to use this? No, yeah, just the regular. No, yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> Those two confuse me all the time. So basically, this one, all you have to do is the same thing. You just hold it and just drag and boom gone um, each of them work in their own separate ways um, one tool might be better in one situation while another tool will be better in a different situation but more or less they pretty much work the same so those are the two main ways well actually there is another way but this is kind of like overkill and you really don't need to do this so let's go ahead and command Z that um, and this one this brush I usually just use for my um, uh, I'm having a brain fart moment I use for my I gotta look at it or I won't remember my um, frequency separation that's what it is this brush I mainly use for my frequency separation so for this brush it's different because you have to hold down um, alt uh, option and you click on an area that you want to copy from and this is this gets tricky but I mean you can do it and you go right up to here see it starts to really not work well it worked and there so but that one's a little trickier um, if you use either your um, your spot healing brush or your lasso tool you'll get a better result um, than using the other healing brush right here so that that's pretty much it that is how you remove stray hairs in Photoshop in Lightroom and that's it for today thank you guys for watching again I'd like to mention if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure that you click on that little Taco Bell to make sure that you are notified when future videos come out and uh, hey guys thanks for watching see you guys next time